Hi, this is Paul Dye reporting from Sun and Fun 2013 for Kit Plains Magazine. We're here in front of the dining booth with some, where they have some interesting developments this year. They have a new communications radio which integrates well with their EFAS. They have a new integrated intercom and uh, they also have some exciting new things with, the, with their autopilot interface. We're going to we talk with Dynan here, and they'll tell you some more about it. I'm Mike Schofield with uh, Dynan Avionics. Our mission for a long time has been to complete the panel for light sport and experimental um, pilots. And with our new product introductions, we're basically there. Uh, we're introducing a Skyview Com Radio, a two-place stereo intercom, and major upgrades to our Skyview Autopilot that adds all of the IFR features that you'd ever want, and also an alternate simplified uh, set of controls for VFR pilots. So our new radio, the uh, SVCOM C25, has a really unique and revolutionary user interface. You can see here that it knows about the airport that it's, uh, that it's tuning. Here's the standby frequency, and again with airport and uh, free, uh, station type, and there's the active frequency. So if I, want, if I select it, I can push the airport button and I can spin in either by identifier or by nearest. So here's a list of nearest airports. And then by press, and now this airport's been loaded. Once the airport's loaded into the radio, I can now press tower, ADAS, ATC, ground, and then it's in the standby, press the flip-flop, and now you've tuned. There's also a remote-mounted radio transceiver that lets you uh, mount the, the actual radio where it's convenient for, for the builder. One of the things we hear a lot from customers is that they have Skyview and music and other electronics in their, in their panel, and they don't have a good way of bringing them all together. So we came up with a two-place stereo intercom that basically has uh, a ton of inputs. You know, we're fond of saying it basically has audio panel features at half the price. So it has a stereo input for EFIS alerts, it has stereo input for music, it has a uh, uh, jack on the front, it also has a rear-mounted uh, set of music inputs. So some of our other products, the, the, the two-place stereo intercom can actually be used in any experimental or light sport panel. The Skyview Com Radio is available for $12.95 and the intercom is $2.95. They will both be available in June. With Skyview 6.0, we've added all of the features that an IFR pilot could you know, possibly need in terms of autopilot. We have a flight director. We have uh, role modes that can follow heading, track, or HSI. They can also uh, sequence from one to the other. So you can, for example, fly a heading until the HSI is established. This is showing heading being flown right now, and it'll uh, grab the HSI uh, once the, the needle is active. On the pitch side, we have the ability to fly vertical speeds, indicate airspeed holds, altitude hold and pre-select, and also uh, VNAV, which isn't shown here. For the VFR pilot that doesn't need all of the uh, capability and complexity of the IFR modes, we have an alternate simplified set of controls. It boils the autopilot down to two buttons. One flies the track you choose at the altitude you choose. So as I, as I turn the, the track, the autopilot will follow it. It'll also climb and descend onto altitudes you choose by using the altitude bug. Or the other mode, HSI plus ALT, will follow anything that's on the HSI, and that could be navigation coming from Skyview's own map or an external nav source. There's also a level button, which will, from any autopilot mode, whether it's engaged or not, will bring the airplane back to straight and level.